Hello, welcome to the music school here in Concord, the Concord Community Music School, where my longtime friend Peggy Center is the executive director. And I have to say, I started out with the music school as an 11-year-old piano player. We were just reminiscing about some of my early childhood behaviors <laughs> and how Peggy was gracious enough to keep me coming back year after year. And really what we wanted to do here is highlight just the amazing work that this group is doing. I mean, not even just the Concord community, the state of New Hampshire actually, some of the revolutionary and awesome things that they're doing. What happens in these beautiful walls? Well, you know, it's, it's changed quite a lot in the last 35 years. Our mission has stayed constant. Um, we look for the very, very, very best teaching artists that we can assemble, and we're very confident that we have done that. And, um, and then they can connect with absolutely anyone who wants to participate. So we're totally barrier free. What that means for us is no barriers of income, no barriers of ability, no barriers of geography. So there's, there's a place here for people to connect with people that they might not know otherwise. And then we've also broadened that mission of access to create these community partnerships, which have been going on for about 25 years now. They've been able to have their constituents understand that we're a musical home for them. So what I, what I love is our Sunflower Singers is one of our large choruses, more than 100 people every Wednesday. They name themselves. It's a chorus of um, adults with developmental disabilities and traumatic brain injuries. And, you know, some of those people were nonverbal. Mm -hmm. And the, the excitement of being in that community and making music together has allowed them to motivate themselves to make sound. Mm -hmm. um, and so things like that are happening all the time mm -hmm. here. And it's, I hope it expands people's idea of who is a musician because we believe everybody's a musician and that's what we're here to help people understand. And I love that you, it's just a universal language music is. You don't have to necessarily understand somebody else's version of it to be able to appreciate it. Especially now with sadly a lot of music programs going away in the school system. It, I think you guys just fill such an important gap 60% of our 1,600 participants every week are statistically low income. So we really are a charitable organization. We're 50% contributed income supported in our fairly large budget. So um, financial support really does run the show. Um, we have volunteer opportunities as well, of course, and we have 150 concerts a year, most of which are free. So we want people to feel at home here and, and get to be able to connect with people they might not meet otherwise. Even if you don't think you're a musical person, you are. You are. And there is something here for you too. So Peggy, congratulations on your anniversary and thanks for always being a musical friend to me. Amanda, thank you. See you on Tuesday with my banjo. <laughs> okay. <laughs>